Kia ora. coming to you with another layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict, 20 Days of Cut Files. These are summer or Christmas related. Uh, today's theme, I've chosen the Christmas one I think it was, that was all about baking. And I've chosen this really gorgeous, um, I think it was a birthday cake cut file from Confessions of a Paper Addict. Um, and it's not really your traditional Christmas cake. But I just liked the um, kind of spectacular standoutness of it. Um, the Christmas cakes that are in the photographs that I've put in are kind of a big part of what makes it feel like Christmas, if that's the right way to um, term that. So um, the stars and the sort of the exuberance of this cup file to me help emphasize what that's like. Now I'm just mounting it on, I've cut it from White Daisy cardstock and I'm mounting it on a six by eight piece of evergreen glitter cardstock from Close to My Heart. And I just really love the color and the way um, it both made the cut file stand out and it just, that green was just really gorgeous and had that um, nice Christmas feel. So um, just gone really simple with it, with the photos that I'll put on there, stick on there later on. And I've now just got a picture of my life card that I felt fitted with this. So on the right hand side there's actually a, um, going to be a pocket page with um, sort of sequins and different things in it. So I've decided sort of to make a flap um, which is kind of a smaller right hand side page on this um, this sort of double spread almost and so in the picture my life card I'm going to put um, Christmas cakes which is kind of the title of the page and I just found a stamp um, that had Christmas and it had something else and I've trimmed off the rest of it so that the stamp is now in two parts rather than one and I'm just calling it Christmas cakes now I've got these gorgeous acrylic letters uh, again from close to my heart which I am um, going to be there it just adds a nice um, balance with the white of the cake on the left and then the white of the writing on there so I'm going to add a few other bits and pieces onto this I found another stamp that I thought fitted quite nicely with it and I'm going to put that down the bottom and I'm going to just put the base of it up the top as if it's coming off I just really liked that wee star that was on there so now that I've got um, that, I've sort of got a bit of space down the bottom right, but I'm going to just mount the photos just while I decide in my head what it is that I'm going to put uh, on the rest of that card. So I'm just sticking these two photos and then looking for my scissors. Luckily I found them. Um, it's a bigger pair. So I'm just trimming the white cardstock off around the edges just so there's a bit of a border and helps them to stand out. I'm going to layer them there just like that with that gorgeous cut file coming out from behind. So I've just stuck that one down with double sided tape and then uh, with the um, tape runner and then I thought actually I'm going to put this one with foam tape. So I've put three strips of foam tape there and just it lifts it up slightly from the rest of the layer um, and just helps uh, balance and helps it adhere because I was a bit worried about the glitter not holding the adhesive very well but it's worked beautifully. So I've now got a sticker um, that I found on one of the um, sticker sheets on the Christmas sheets that I've put aside and I'm going to pop the journaling on here um, about these cakes. We've made these cakes. Um, my husband used to run a restaurant and he made them there but after he left they didn't do them anymore and um, we've done them for fundraisings for the girls doing overseas trips, youth missions and different things like that. Um, and this our oven um, fits 16 of them at a time so um, we've often had quite a few Christmas cakes coming out of our oven and there's just something about the smell of Christmas cake when you come home it, and my son one year said it smells like Christmas when he could smell the cakes which reminds me I probably should get some baked this year not many for fundraising or anything like that but just a few so that we can give to people and I found some of these gorgeous stickers here um, and I'm just tucking them in uh, around the page so it's going to pop in there like that and I'm doing this so that I can find the holes on the page protector so that it matches up when I pop it into the 6x8 album so as you can see that was yesterday's um, mixed media page and I'm just using um, using the tool here to punch the holes and see through and I have to keep making sure it is empty um, so that was one of the original crocodiles, actually. So you can see it popping it in these two pages into the album from where I'm up to. And then I've got a nice little flap in there. Now remember, for the, these 20 days, you can get 25% off at the Etsy store for Confessions of a Paper Addict. Thanks for watching.
remember to check out the uh, layouts linked below for the other people uh, who are involved in this hop.